Justin Bieber has been banned from China. Chinese authorities have officially announced that Biebs will not be allowed to perform in the People's Republic due to his on and off stage antics. Justin isn't the first foreign artist who has found themselves shut out of China's vast music industry, although most have been targeted for political, not behavioral reasons. For example, back in 2015, Maroon 5 were forced to cancel shows in mainland China after the group's keyboard player sent a birthday wish to the exiled Tibet spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. And before that, in 2009, Oasis was banned after their guitarist performed at a free Tibet concert in New York City. In a statement posted, it was said that Justin is a gifted singer, but he is also a controversial young foreign singer. They also said, As far as we are concerned, he has engaged in a series of bad behaviors both in his social life and during a previous performance in China, which caused disconnect among the public. The exact behavior that landed Bieber in the bad books was not mentioned. Bieber did perform in China as part of his Believe tour in 2013, but that trip didn't end well after pictures surfaced of the singer being carried up the Great Wall of China by his bodyguards. Justin will jet to Asia later this year as part of his Purpose Tour with his shows scheduled in Indonesia, Japan, the Philippines, Singapore and Hong Kong. But all believers in mainland China are going to be pretty disappointed. Do you guys agree with this and think it's fair that Justin's banned from China? Let me know your answers down in the comments. Hey guys, welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. As always, we have a bunch of interesting news stories headed your way so let's get started. Next, a deadly earthquake hits Greece and Turkey triggering a tsunami. The 6.7 magnitude earthquake triggered a deadly tsunami just 6.2 miles below the Aegean Sea. This happened at 1.31 am local time on Friday. Multiple aftershocks caused serious damage to buildings and trapped people inside the rubble. Two tourists were killed and around 200 people were injured. Rescuers have been working through the night to try and save people from the wreckage caused by the impact. The Turkish city of Marmaris has also been badly affected, with a lot of their beachfront resorts flooded. This is absolutely terrible and our thoughts go out to the families affected. Next, Cecil the Lion's son was killed by game hunters. Everyone was heartbroken when Cecil was killed by Walter Palmer. He was beheaded and skinned, and it was revealed after that Palmer paid wildlife guides $55,000 to allow him to shoot Cecil with a crossbow. And now it looks like his eldest son, Exanda, has met the same fate. Exanda was killed outside the Huanji National Park in northwest Zimbabwe, which is where he lived with his pride and young cubs. Richard Cook, who is a professional hunter, is said to be the one behind the killing. Lions come to this park so they can be left to live out their years as wild, born free lions, not so they can be killed off. As it stands now, three quarters of African lion populations are in decline. With only around 20,000 in the wild, they are now officially classified as vulnerable. Next, nine-year-old discovers million-year-old fossil. How cool is that? So it turns out one day Jude Sparks and his brother were playing in the desert in New Mexico. They were just goofing around when all of a sudden Jude tripped over something huge. After taking a closer look, Jude thought it might have been a big, fat, rotten cow. So he called his parents over to check it out. They assumed it might have been an elephant, but they weren't sure, so they emailed Peter Hood, who is a biology professor at New Mexico State University. And after he checked it out for himself, he was able to identify it. Turns out it was actually the skull of a stegomaster. On. Now for those of you who are like, what? This is a tusked mammoth-like mammal who lived 1.2 million years ago. It's actually a very distant cousin to our modern day elephants. This fossil is considered an extremely rare find as they are so uncommon. He even said that this may only be the second complete skull found in New Mexico. Shortly after, a team of paleontologists excavated the nearly 2,000 pound fossil. That's an amazing find. Next, a goat who's been born with a demonic face terrifies locals so much that they call the police. Gladys Ovidu is the owner of the goat and she's absolutely shocked when she saw the face of the new arrival on her farm. The baby goat, which was sadly stillborn, was born with protruding eyes, giving it the face that resembled a demon. Gladys said, the rest of the baby is normal, it only has deformations on its head. It is unusual what happened. Gladys' daughter-in-law took pictures of the goat and posted them to social media. Once online, they were widely shared. Some locals were so terrified and believed that this little stillborn goat was actually possessed by a demon that they called the police to the farm so that they could document this bizarre case. Next, speaking of creepy things, the theme for the seventh season of American Horror Story has been revealed. Are you guys ready for this? The upcoming season is going to be about cults. Yeah, that's terrifying. Program creator Ryan Murphy has been teasing us lately with posts about creepy clowns, but yesterday he finally revealed the theme of the upcoming season over Twitter and fans are really excited. Yesterday, the AHS Twitter account also posted a teaser trailer with a cult full of creepy clowns, so that's fun. Also, it's been revealed that this season will begin on election night and Twisty the Clown is back. This season will be making its debut on September 5th. 
That's just one day before my birthday, perfect birthday gift. Let me know down in the comments if you're an American Horror Story fan, and if so, what's your favorite season been so far? Next, the first trailer for the movie Jigsaw has finally been released, and it looks just as terrifying as you'd expect. This is the next installment of the Saw franchise, and it's definitely going to live up to the scare factor that all the other movies possess. In this movie, bodies are turning up around the city, and each have met an unlikely gruesome demise. As the investigation proceeds, evidence points to one man. John Kramer. But there's no way that's possible as the man known as Jigsaw has been dead for over a decade. Yeah, you already know just by the summary alone that this movie is going to be terrifying. It's set to come out on October 27th. Here's a sneak peek. The truth will set you free. Well, there you go. That's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.